Really now? Who do those Akihabara freedom fighters think they are? Eh, I wouldn't worry about them. I didn't think they seemed like bad people or anything. You say people, I say weirdos. Still, they seem mostly harmless. Harmless? No, they're a huge problem. Didn't you hear what their boss said? They're trying to nullify the delusions. That's our job. The nerve. I swear. Ah, uh, Master Asahi. Moi, how are you feeling? Oh, much better. But I can't shake the feeling that I've somehow caused you and your friends a lot of trouble. Nah, not at all. Don't even worry about it. I'm just glad you're okay. That goes for me, too. Oh, thank you. But, um, Master Asahi, may I ask you something? Yeah, what's up? Why am I here? And why are you and your friends watching over me? Oh, uh, that's... Uh... I remember being in a very strange place. It was very blue and a bit gaudy, to be frank. And I have this memory of going somewhere else, too. Somewhere that kind of resembled a shop, but kind of didn't. Hey, what's going on here? Isn't she not supposed to remember all this? Moe, would you mind telling us everything you remember? Oh, certainly. Um, I feel like I fought something. With Master Asahi and the rest of you at my side. But my memories of doing so were very hazy. Like a dream. You remember more than I would have expected. I believe this is a type of after image. After image? Sometimes, after all is said and done, the Deluser remembers bits and pieces of the experience. Oh yeah, the audio guy remembered a little too, didn't he? Yes, and that's about what you can expect out of a Deluser. Barring rare cases like reuse, of course. Although pieces of the delusion are still present, they always fade and disappear with time. So you think she's alright? For sure? Could it be that you and your friends saved me from the world inside my dreams, Master Asahi? Hmm, that's a pretty loaded question. Let's call it half true and half not. We did rescue you, but it still seems you're caught up in the delusion to an extent. Well, um, is there anything I can do to repay you for your kindness? Oh, no, we don't need anything. We helped you because we wanted to. The sentiment alone is thanks enough. We're very appreciative, Moe. Mm, I'm not sure I can accept that. Someday, somehow. Please allow me to do something to make this up to you. Oh, okay. We'll think of something and let you know. All right. Thank you very much. Moe! <laughs> Nana! Let's go back home together, okay? The roads at night aren't safe for a lone girl. You might even get kidnapped. Thank you for looking out, Nana. Whatever you all did for me today, I am most grateful. Until next time. I guess that wraps up the maid delusion chapter of our story. There's still one very important question left unanswered, though. Who was the man in the pink cape? No, nah, uh Nope. You're not seriously suggesting we go search for him now, are you? We've done enough for one day. And I'm so tired, I feel like I might fall over and shatter into a million pieces and die. Really now, you can be such a prima donna. Is how I'd respond to that if I weren't so exhausted myself. It's been a long, complicated day. I'm pretty tuckered out too. Let's pick this up tomorrow. Say, one o'clock again? You including me in this too? Of course I am. Did you forget you promised you'd join us in our quest? No, I didn't forget. Because I never promised you a damn thing. Just give it up, man. Even if you refuse, they'll just show up at your house and drag you out. Happened to me. What? Two o'clock, huh? Not the latest I've ever been. I'm probably safe at least. Huh? You're late. Hey, Yamato. Morning. Looks like you decided to join us after all. Could it be you were looking forward to this? Hell no. Whatever you say. Where are Saki and Mippity anyway? That's what I'd like to know. Good morning. Well, this is quite a surprise. You made it here right on time. What are you talking about, right on time? Wait. Yeah, now I see what you did. I planned for us to meet at two from the start, so 
So I lied and told you it was one, so you'd actually show up on time. <laughs> I was in on it. Sorry. Now that's just devious. So you kept me waiting an extra hour for no reason at all. Where's my apology? Now that the gang's all here, let's get started, shall we? Oh, Master Asahi. Hey, Moe. What brings you all the way out here? Looking for you and your friends, as a matter of fact. Really? What do you need us for? On my way to the cafe this morning, I encountered a strange door. Then I remembered what happened yesterday and knew I had to find you. So, the door jogged your memory then? Not exactly. I still don't remember everything, but I know enough to say that things in Akihabara aren't right. So I wanted to come out and give you something as a token of my appreciation. You seriously hunted us down just to thank us? I mean, we would have stopped in at your cafe sooner or later. Well, you and your friends are busy destroying the delusions spreading through Akihabara, right? What? That's exactly right! So I thought there was no time to waste. Look, there really isn't anything you have to do for us, you know. We don't even want anything. It's nothing big. I just thought maybe I could show you around Akihabara. If you wouldn't mind, of course. Show us around? Um, at our cafe, we maids offer a tour guide service for tourists and those who might not be as familiar with the town. We show them the famous sights and most interesting lesser known spots. It's been very popular with our guests. So I thought I would extend the offer to you as a way of saying thanks. You're patrolling the town for clues, are you not? A little extra structure in your route could prove beneficial. I appreciate your very gracious offer, but I think it would be best not to involve you any further. Miss Maid, I welcome your tour with open little arms! <gasps> Master Pinkoon at your service! Not the time, Pinkoon. Aw, oh, come on! If I'm gonna keep fighting for Akihabara, I think I should at least learn a little more about it! He's got a point. You have to encourage this? I'm interested too. Besides, it gives me a chance to learn some things from Moe. And there are sure to be lots of places none of us know about. We should learn more for the good of our mission. Either way is fine by me. <sighs> fine. But only so we can look for new delusions that might have cropped up. This is work, got it? Work! Mr. Saki, thank you so much. My spirits are already soaring. Shall we get started then? I can hardly wait to tour with all of you. And especially you, Master Pinkun. Yeah, hee hee! you can see the famous Radiola Kaikon Assembly Hall. This is such a prominent building, but I can't say I've ever been inside. What's in there anyway? Oh, please allow me to explain. Established in 1953, the Radiola Kaikon building is now a staple of the electric town exit from Akihabara Station. Due to weathering and decay, it was closed for renovations in 2011, but reopened with renewed vigor in 2014. Originally, as its name would imply, it was a hub of stores selling parts for radios and other electronic devices. But now, in keeping with the changing times, it's full of stores that sell manga, figurines, trading cards, etc. And they've all got pretty good selections, too. Hmm? Yamato, have you been here before? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, nah. Just heard about it from my brother is all. Well, your brother is quite correct. Every store is full to bursting with goods. There's nothing you can't find. Why not buy a ton of cards while we're here? <laughs> 